Hey Flower Tribe, it's Kelly Lehman from Cranberry Fields Flower Farm and today I'm going to show you how Sheldon and I do some of our fall cleanup and we're also going to be using this great tool. It's the CC PS600 Cordless Pole Saw and Mini Chainsaw. It comes with an easy to maneuver mini chainsaw. It also comes with an extendable pole for those hard to reach branches that are up high. So we wanted to show you how this tool helps us get the job done. So let's dive right in with this fall cleanup. So guys, I wanted to do a quick unboxing. So this is the main uh, part here, one of the main parts. So you can tell uh, it's gonna be a battery operated mini chainsaw. The battery's gonna pop in here. It's got like a safety cover that just pops right off. It's also got like this little lever, just like a little safety precaution there. And then we've got the batteries. There's two batteries. And when Sheldon and I uh, first took a look at this, we realized that these were already semi-charged when they came out of the box. So they had a nice charge to them. We gave it an extra charge, which is a really good idea. You know, charge them up all the way. This is the pole that attaches to the mini chainsaw and is going to help us cut the branches that are very high up. It's gonna make it very easy for us to get rid of them without having to use a ladder, but we'll show you how it attaches. It's really super easy. It also comes with some gloves, which is great. I was surprised to see this. This was kind of like a fun little add-on. It came with these safety glasses. And then it has a little spot for oil. And Sheldon had noticed before that there's a little chamber here to add some oil and we're just adding it's called like bar oil in here and we're going to do that before the first use that's really important so the oil was not included but this little gijimagoo is you know to kind of fill it up in here okay so now we're going to fill it up and shell let's see if there's a fill line here yeah there's a max line here and sheldon's kind of priming it you're giving it a couple pumps there we gave the primer button just a few pumps and then there are two replacement chains. So, you know, eventually they're going to dull. So there's two replacement chains. And you can sharpen the chains that they gave you as well with a file. So I guess this just helps if you want to kind of put it over. You want to carry it like on your shoulder, like a little clip on. Let's do it. The shoulder strap really comes in handy as you're walking around the garden with the pole attachment. The okay. chainsaw snaps on here. Oh, very cool. The battery. And then it's telescopic. Move it higher. Wow. This makes the angle, depending on the branch you're getting. We decided to try out the mini chainsaw without the pole attachment first to see if it can get into some tight spaces. It's always a challenge to get rid of some of these unwanted plants that grow up on the side of the barn and a regular size hedge clipper or chainsaw is just too big to get this job done without hitting the barn. So we're hoping that this is a tool that's going to get the job done. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Mission accomplished. This is a tree that we have that definitely has a dead branch. So anything that's dead, damaged, or diseased, we're gonna to try to get rid of. Wow, love that, that cut really good. All right, there's another dead branch here. So guys, any, any branches that are like, you know, totally dead, not dormant, because this time of year, a lot of things go dormant, but you can tell these guys are really just, I mean, they've had it, Ready? yep. Okay. Wow, it's really powerful. I know. Such a little sword. Right? Isn't that adorable? Yeah. Adorably powerful. Okay, guys, so now we want to make sure that we take the battery off and we're going to attach it to the pole. This just kind of clicks into here. Slides in really simple. And I just want to lock it. So make sure you hear that chink and it kind of locks it. All right, so now this pole is good to go and we just need to add the battery. Mm -hmm. So I was able to push the safety. I started it with the trigger and then I didn't have to hold on to the safety anymore. It just stayed on. So I'll show you that one more time. Safety, start. So now we're looking for more dead branches. Remember, we're not pruning because you don't want to prune and fall, but you can get rid of dead, damaged and diseased branches. 
I wanted to show you how high this tool can reach and it has a lock feature so that once you extend that telescopic pole, you can lock it in and get those really high branches. It's so quick and easy to switch between the pole attachment and the regular mini chainsaw. Some of these branches, we're also noticing that as we're walking outside, they're like, you know, they're up to like our neck or they're by our face. So we want to get rid of some of these also, but this is a great tool to do that with. We noticed a lot of branches from this limelight hydrangea that were cracked off and they were just kind of sitting haphazardly in the middle of the plant. So we needed to try to loosen them and get them out before winter. All right, you want to pull it? Yay! Now we're in the back garden and we're getting rid of loads of dead branches that we've been wanting to get rid of for a very long time, but we just didn't want to have to take the trouble to come out here with the major chainsaw. So this cleanup is going super fast. We wanted to show you the diameter of some of these branches that we're cutting off. And a lot of these branches are actually diseased. You can tell there's like a brown center in some of them, and that could be a sign of disease. It could be the reason why there have been no leaves on them. And so these were like really tall branches that we really couldn't get down until today. So I'm super happy with this tool. We're going to do one more quick switcheroonie and take the mini chainsaw off the pole attachment and we're cutting off some of the branches that are low and we keep walking into them. So we're in the back of the secret garden now and we've been wanting to get rid of a lot of these branches. Once again, look at that diameter. I mean, it's a really, you know, it's a fairly big branch to cut with a small tool. So we got a lot of work done with this garden cleanup using this CC cordless pole saw and mini chainsaw PS600 and the job went really fast. It was super easy to use this tool and I'm really glad that we got to use it. Okay, so batteries off, jobs are done. What do you think? I think the seesaw was great. Um, for those of you who have a gas chainsaw, it's always a 20 minute thing to get it started and get it moving. This, you just plug the battery in, and, and I'm really impressed the way it cut and the size of the uh, logs that it cut. Yeah, and I have to say, branches. like, it was it was sharp enough to do the job, but yet it was manageable. So I felt like you weren't, you know, like, yeah, was, really, like, really exerting too much, too much effort. Like, yeah. it just kind of did it. Easy, also, easy to control, I yeah, think. Yeah, and it also has really nice reach. I mean, you can definitely get some height with it. Right? All right, and I like the fact that there's two battery chargers. So if you're in the middle of a cleanup and your battery dies, you just kind of pop it out, switch it over with the new one, and you don't have to wait, you know, for the battery to charge back up. Because I hate when that happens, right? When you have like a battery-operated appliance and you got to wait. Yeah. So well, yeah, that's why they give you two. You always keep one on charge. Yeah, no, I love that. We wanted to say thank you to the fine folks over at CC for sending us over this cordless pole saw and mini chainsaw PS600. We love it. Thank you so much for joining us, and please check out descriptions below to grab your Amazon link for this product. Thank you so much for joining us in this video and please say hi to us over on my Cranberry Fields Instagram page. You can also find us on TikTok and I made a whole bunch of podcasts for you. You can find those wherever you listen to your podcast and please also let me know where you're viewing this from in this great big beautiful world. I love to see how our flower tribe is growing around the globe each week. Also check out our Kelly Lehman's Flower Tribe Facebook group because there's thousands of gardeners from all over the world and they're asking and answering loads of garden questions over there. And know that YouTube has allowed me to have a super thanks uh, button attached to this channel. And if you'd like to buy us a cup of coffee or let us know if you appreciate these videos, uh, that would be terrific. Or you could just give us a like or a comment below. I would appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next video.